Hey, a pleasant good afternoon, everybody. This is Sports for Ag News. I'm Joe Boric of Flyers Nitty Gritty and SteelFlyers.com, a.k.a. Pro Joe. Please check out SteelFlyers.com and Flyers Nitty Gritty. This is going to be a quick preview to the Flyers and Sabres after shutting them out 3 nothing and Moose getting his 42nd career shutout yesterday, having a great game, 23-23 with saves yesterday. And then Scott Lawton coming up big, the return line coming up big with Limblum, Voracek, and Lawton. Cooch continues to come up big after a great play by Sanheim as well. So obviously G continued to look good in yesterday's game as well. But now we're on to today's game. It looks like Carter Hart's going to get the game. I think he's going to bounce back and have a fantastic performance. Um... You did not have the best sight lines as a goaltender. I'm not making excuses, but you just did not in Tahoe. And um, that was not just seen from Carter Hart. That was seen from some other goals from each team scored at Lake Tahoe, whether it was in our game or the Vegas and Colorado game. So it's definitely a great sight, but not the best sight lines for the goaltender. But today, obviously, the Flyers, the key is yesterday and yesterday's performance – they were able to stop a very good power play. That's one of the big bonuses of the Sabres in a very struggling team. Otherwise, their power play is pretty good, and both teams went 0 for 3. The Flyers weren't able to capitalize. You'd like to see them do better against Buffalo's PK, but they were able to make the Sabres' second best power play in hockey go 0 for 3 as well, and that was huge. Uh, actually, the first best power play in hockey, uh, 32.8%. And 19.7 for the Flyers, which is 16th middle of the pack. But our penalty kills 28th. So it was nice to see them step up against a very key and very big power play right there in the Buffalo Sabres. Sabres PK's middle of the pack at 16th, but you would still like to see the Flyers put a little bit more spunk on their power play and be able to capitalize on one there. It was very nice to see, though, the return line of Lawden, Voracek, and Lindblom continue to do great things, those guys while on the ice, and both of them, or excuse me, all three of them played great yesterday, and we're going to see that pair continue to do well today, I believe they should definitely keep that together, I honestly think Sandheim and Braun should have stayed together, because Sandheim used to always go up on the play in the minors, I said this on my Phantoms and Flyers videos now, and then they told him to hone it back a bit so he could be an all-encompassing guy. He did that, and now he's able to go up a bit. And with Braun as his defenseman, he knows he's going to be able to go up more because Braun's just a defensive guy. Myers kind of does a little bit of everything, too. Maybe Myers is good to put with Hag, keep Sanheim with Braun, and roll from there. Ghost is back, baby, though, and that's great to see. Great back-to-back -back games. I expect a third by him as well. Gus has actually looked pretty solid. Two games ago and looked solid last game, but it seems like he'll end up being the scratch when you look at the projected lineups. Um, I, it seems like Hag's going to be a brawn. That line doesn't grade well when you look at the offensive line grade in the league. It's usually bottom tier, so I think they should honestly keep Sanheim with Braun, but it is what it is. We'll see what they're going to do. But I think this is still going to be a good game for the Flyers. The Flyers should be able to complete the sweep against this Buffalo Sabres team. They're facing uh, Johansson, Jonas Johansson, after facing Hutton, who's a solid goalkeeper, but hasn't been good and consistent since he's been banged up in his career. He got the eye surgery, um, which obviously it's great to see he's able to come back and be healthy from that. But he played a solid game yesterday, made some big saves, actually, and that's the only reason that game wasn't separated more since the Flyers had 39 shots. But you just got to pepper Johansson like you did Hutton, and you'll get goals even more so than Hutton because Carter Hutton is actually an NHL-level goaltender. Jonas Johansson at this point, the jury's still out on him. So if you're able to pepper him, you should be able to get some goals. I see the Flyers being able to pepper him and get goals this game, and I see that line that returned from COVID, uh, Lawton, uh, Voracek, and Limblum continuing to be a great contributing factor, as well as JVR, who's just been a menace on both ends thus far this season in general. And then you got Coots and Fairby, two guys that are always consistent. Fairby's emerging into a star, so it's great to see that. Bunneman has been good every game he's been in, uh, filling in for TK. He's played, I think, about like 13 or 15 games now, somewhere in that vicinity, and he's been good in all of them. Raffle uh, surpassed Lindros and Bernie Perron for amount of games played. How about that? Longest tenured, uh, one of the longest tenured flyers, excuse me, and continues to impress while doing it. And then Limblo, excuse me, Albe Kubel continues to do well. And then today's keys, I would say, as a wrap up point, the keys to win today's game is continue peppering the shots. As I said, they had 39 shots yesterday. I want to see a high 30 shot total. 
again, Carter Hart stepping up and having a big game, which I predict he will do. And then the COVID return line plus the first line continuing to do their thing and really solidifying themselves against the opponent and being able to bring that anytime, anywhere into Buffalo yet again. I don't expect back-to-back -back shutouts. I think that's a little much to expect. I expect the Sabres to score at least one goal. So I'll go to 4-1 to score prediction today. Philadelphia Flyers will be able to win to sweep the Buffalo Sabres in the weekend, home and home in Buffalo. So the Buffalo Sabres had the home and home. We're able to beat them twice. If my score prediction comes right of 4-1, to one, let's go Flyers. Bring that anytime, anywhere into Buffalo. Have a great day and pleasant day, everyone. And please like, comment, and subscribe here at Sports Fanatic News. And please subscribe to Flyers Fan Mania, Chris Mayer's account, who did a great job covering the Phantoms yesterday. Flyers Nitty Gritty, Pub Sports Radio, and Steel Flyers, and Pure Wisdom, and as well as Peyton on the radio and Off the Wall Hockey. This has been a preview to the Flyers and Buffalo Sabres. Again, predict the score 4-1 to one in favor of our orange and black. Have a great, safe, and pleasant day. Peace out, everybody.